Well, yeah, yeah, there was a guy that tried to rob me. Keyword being tried, okay? This was a flat rate run, so I asked the guy for the $80 up front, and he was like, huh, you want the money now? I was like, yeah, man, what you want to wait till when you get there so you can take off running or something? I was being sarcastic, and I didn't realize when I said, yeah, man, I'm going to need to get the money right now. And the guy said, well, how about you give me your money then? And I was like, what? And he said, you heard me. Give me all your money, I'm going to kill you. When he said that, the only thing I could do was do what came natural to me. I turned and I reached for him. And if I couldn't reach for him, I dove in the back seat with him because I feel like this. If you want what's in my pockets, you can have it after I stop breathing. I, I got back there and it was like, the first thing happened, and y'all see I like ice. My pinky ring started coming off. So I'm trying to fight off this big bear of a man at the same time of trying to keep my pinky ring on my finger, not knowing that's not the most important thing going on. I needed to be worried about the weapon, but nevertheless, I'm worried about my diamonds. So when I finally got my ring on, then I grabbed Big Boy, you know what I'm saying? He wasn't expecting for me to manhandle him the way I did, but I ain't gonna lie, he was big and he was soft. He was probably 100 pounds heavier than me, but he was like a big marshmallow. Worst thing about him was his shitty breath, honestly. That was really the worst thing about him. So anyway, so I grabbed Big Homie, and I slung him over to the other side of the back seat. After I was manhandling him, he see I was getting the best of him. What do people do when they get their ass whooped, y'all? They bite you. Yes. This big, stupid motherfucker bit me on my tricep right here. So think about it. If somebody bites you on your tricep, that means... They faces right next to yours. So yes, I can smell his shitty breath on my arm and I could look him in his eyes when I told him, that's how you rob people? By biting them? Bitch, I'ma kill you. And when I said that, he let go of my arm. I think I struck a little bit of fear in him. I made his heart rate go up. So he tried to use his weight. So he got on top of me. Now picture this, y'all. Little me, pent down in the back seat of the car with this big, almost 300 pound man on top of me talking about, yeah, now I got you. Now I got you where I want you at. I got my hand in his chest and I kind of pushed him up against the ceiling of the car. When I got him against the ceiling of the car, he realized, damn, this boy, he ain't trying to give up. So he turned around and the first thing he saw was my thumb sticking out. The motherfucker bit me again. This time though, my right hand was free and I said, oh bitch, you gonna bite me again? And I caught him with two, you know what I'm saying, right hooks. And when I caught him with them two, he come down to the seat. He fell out. I was like, oh, yeah, I got you now. Now, picture this. Just imagine this, y'all. You robbing somebody. And then all of a sudden, they're on top of you. And they're telling you how it feels to die in the middle of trying to rob somebody. How does it feel? Bitch, I'm about to kill you now. Does this feel wonderful to you? This is the calm voice that I spoke to him in as I whooped his ass in the back seat of my cab. Left hand fist, right hand I had my CB mic. Because when I caught him with that mic a couple of times and I saw his shoulders go down, I knew I had him. I was like, oh yeah, bitch. Yeah, I got you now. And finally, he find the door knob. He grabbed the door and he dive out. As he dive out the door, I noticed the trees going by. I forgot to put the car in park before I went in the back seat after him. We was going down the street while I was whooping his ass.